Hi folks, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Well, it's been a little while since I've done a video. Um, we've been really, really busy here, so uh, it's time we get back to it. Very bright, sunny, warm day today, so no better time. Uh, this is a 2016, that's right, I said 2016, Newmar Dutch Star 4369. As I've said on several videos before, absolutely my favorite floor plan. So I uh, love doing this video. But I know there's a lot of people out there that just want to see what's new for 2016, what's new. So I'm going to show you some standard features and I'll also show you what's new for 2016. So <laughs> first and foremost, this is a custom paint job on this coach. This is not one of Newmar's regular colors. Um, so this is not something you're going to see in the brochure. Uh, we spec this in. So if you like this paint job, there's only one place you can get it. Um, that, that was not by accident, by the way. So uh, we, we think it came out absolutely gorgeous. Of course, with the Dutch Star, you have your Gerard awnings molded up into the top. We did the, we did the two awnings. So basically from here on back, this coach is all awning, and then you've got your above the door awning as well. There's an LED light in that goes all the way down. It's gorgeous when it's all opened up. Um, well, I'll try to get a shot of that uh, in the video here in just a little bit. Um, <coughs> dual fuel fill. Uh, that's been standard on Dutch Star for years, but we do have dual, dual fuel fill on this. We brought this in with the mirrored package down below. Um, these were a real pain in the butt to peel all the protective coating off of that, but we wanted to do it so we could show you how, uh, how neat it looks, it makes the coach look. But that was not there last year, and it is, it, it is for this year, and that goes kind of all the way around the bus. So that, that's, that's very nice. We did option this in with the outside TV, JBL sound bar below it, and this TV will rotate either direction. So very easy, it's held in there with the magnets. Can't get any better than that. And we optioned this in with the refrigerator and or freezer um, on the exterior. And I've shown this before, but I always like to show this. Most coaches, the freezer only comes out to here. Well, that's a real pain when your slide room is out. So with the new Mar, they made it come out to here. So if your slide room is all the way out, it would be about here. And you can still easily get into your freezer, or refrigerator, whichever you have it set at. So very handy. It's one thing to have a feature, it's another to, to have a feature that's very, very usable and, and easy to get to. Um, I always like to talk about with Numar, thickness of the baggage doors, second to none. But I'll show you where most manufacturers skimp. They like to talk about, hey, they've got insulated floors or they've got insulated baggage doors. And then you look at their floor of their basement and the floor of their basement will be a piece of eighth inch steel, a real thin piece of plastic, maybe fiberglass, nothing more than about this thick. Newmar's floor, it's that thick. And that's all insulation and there's a metal covering on the bottom to protect from road debris and everything. And then above that, it's insulated. Um, when it comes to insulating your basement, that's where your water lines are. That's where your tanks are. And you're only gonna be as strong as your weakest point. Um, so that's just something to consider on there. Uh, you can never guarantee a customer that, hey, your coach could never freeze. You know, it gets below zero and, and houses can freeze. But with Newmar, I can pretty much guarantee you'll be the last person in the campground to have a, a, a weather related issue. So very, very well insulated. Let's talk new for 2016. New for 2016 is the Star chassis. Now it's built on a Freightliner chassis to start with. And then the Star chassis is the platform they build on top of that before they build the box, okay? And the star chassis, they changed it with some of the slide room changes that you're gonna see in a minute. They changed the star chassis because it needed to be stronger for a really cool feature I'm gonna show you on the inside. It needed to be stronger than ever before. And I'm gonna open a couple of these and we're gonna to try to get some shots of this. We'll have the camera come in at this angle and I'll, I'll talk over here. These supports are like never before. Up here, this, this riser, it's like five inches tall. Previously, um, these things kind of bolted or got welded here and came out. Now it goes all the way across to the opposite side of the coach. This is one beam that goes all the way across, and there's several of these, obviously, down the length of the chassis. And then you have this support beam coming back towards the middle at 45 degrees. That means you can put an uh, extraordinary amount of weight out here on the edges, and, and it just keeps centering everything back towards a low center of gravity. So um, we've got a very low center of gravity. We've got a very, very strong coach, and it'll 
allowed us to do some things with slide rooms that uh, they, they've never done before. This is lit up across. You can see the LED lights in there. These light up when you open the doors, and there's three or four of those located throughout. Unfortunately, it's tough to get them in the camera shot, but uh, I definitely wanted to show you this. The way they're doing this star chassis now is unbelievable. Um, it's, it's put in these individual channels that you see right here, and then they, they level these before they ever, so they take the camber out of the chassis, and then they level these before they ever start building the box on it. So they're building on a, on a completely level, square, strong platform before they start building the house, okay? So that's one of the big changes. This is not the same as the 2015. You can see we do have some standard features that you would expect on a coach of, of uh, this magnitude. We've got our pull-out slide tray that goes out either side in this bay. This is a half bay, um, goes a little more than halfway back, and you got a pull-out tray for that as well. You can see the uh, spot where you empty your Dirt Devil bags, because this coach does have a central vac on it. Okay, come back here. This is, uh, behind this pegboard is our water tanks, okay? Now most coaches, they don't even give you a compartment door here. This, this won't even have a handle on it. They don't want you in there. Newmar said, well, you know what? It's, it's kind of useful space. It's not real deep, but you could certainly put some peg hooks there and carry extra extension cords, tools, whatever you want, okay? New for 2016. Dutch Star on up in the Newmar line have steerable tag axles. It's a passive steer, which means you don't really have any control over it from inside the coach, but when you're moving at slow speeds, maneuvering your coach, instead of your tag axle getting drugged sideways and scrubbing tires, it actually steers itself. I, I kind of tried to strategically park this coach to, uh, to be able to demonstrate this a little bit, that it is currently turned right now. I, 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 when I parked it, I cocked the wheels and then shut it off real quick so that it didn't straighten itself out. Um, and you can kind of see what it does. When you're turning to the left, which is what I was doing here, the, the, these wheels actually kind of turn to the right to help it track around the turn for you. Instead of, like I said, scooting sideways, it steers it. That's obviously gonna save wear and tear on the tires. It makes it a much smoother ride from inside the coach. Um, and, it, and it is completely passive. If you go above a certain speed limit, I think it's like 15 miles an hour, it locks in dead straight. So it, it, it can't move on you going down the road. Um, but when you're at slow maneuvering speeds, it'll actually do that turning. And that's, that's a very slick feature. Um, something that you normally see on coaches much more expensive than this one. All right, uh, we're gonna talk about this on the other side a little bit as well, but here's where you fill your DEF tank. Okay, and I've got a surprise on the other side for that. Here is our chassis uh, batteries and our chassis disconnect. So these are chassis batteries here. There's more batteries, trust me. All right, come on around to the back. They've upped it to a 15,000 pound tow rating this year. It was 10,000 pounds last year. So they've beefed that up. So we've got a beefier hitch on it. We've got the uh, Cummins 450. This is 1,250 foot pounds of torque. Get a good shot of that engine in there. Notice what's not here. There's no radiator here. Um, without the radiator, you have accessibility here. You can get to a belt, you can get to a filter, you can check your fluid levels very easily. When they put the radiator back here, it's really hard to access anything. Um, there is a light back here as well, um, if you ever need to mess around back here at night. Light, light is built in. Get a good shot of the rear cap if we can. Um, what you don't see on this coach is a ladder. You bring your own ladder with you, get one of those little collapsible ones. Um, but uh, they really, really, really work hard on this coach to make it as bus-like as possible. Um, they don't want a lot of things bolted to the outside of this coach, so it's got a very slick look to it. This is new, <laughs> the Ultra, Seer, Ultra Steer uh, series. That just means the steerable tag axle. All right. Since we don't have a rear radiator, it means we have a side radiator. Um, side radiator gets a little better airflow out here to the side of the coach. You get a little bit of a vacuum behind the coach when you're going down the road and you pick up more dirt back there. When it's off to the side like this, you get a little better airflow. And also they don't stack their radiators one in front of the other because you've got oil coolers and transmission coolers and all that. They don't stack them one in front of the other. They stack them on top of each other. That way they all get equal cold air. Um, if you stack them front to back, Whichever one's on the outside gets good cold air, but the ones inside it get already warmed up air. So it's, it's a much more efficient way of doing it. A little bit of chrome down here added as well. Now, I told you we were going to get to some new things for 16. This is new for 2016. You can fill the DEF tank from either side. Um, that, that's a wonderful feature. I've had a lot of customers say to me, you know, they put the DEF tank on the wrong side. If you're getting 
fuel at a truck stop, everything's on the driver's side. And um, the DEF tank has historically been on the other side, um, which made it very tricky. You usually had to buy the bottles and pour it in instead of getting DEF at the pump. So now get DEF at the pump. Another thing that they, they addressed that, that I was glad, they used to give a little bitty compartment to put your sewer hose in. Um, and, and the problem with it was if you use a sewer hose that's got a big collar or anything on it, um, it, it didn't want to fit in there. They've made this much bigger now. This is a huge space in here. So I don't care what kind of sewer hose you have, it'll fit. Okay. Of course, Newmar still util utilizes flush mount slides. Uh, they're not, they don't use the piece of plastic that sticks over like this. It can collect water, especially on the front, the leading edge, be a good place for water, dirt, air to get into. Um, we, uh, we don't do it like that. They recess this back in here, which is just a much better seal, not to mention a better look. Um, go ahead and get a good shot of that door. We're gonna talk about that when we get inside, but that's new for 2016, the door without a step. We'll call that the leap of faith for now, So, um, but we'll, we will get to that. Folks, I know ultimately we want to see the inside, so enough talk about the uh, outside. Let's go inside. Okay, now we're inside the Dutch Star 4369, and this is a 2016 model, our first 2016. So uh, uh, we have beautiful flex steel furniture in here. Uh, very, very, very comfortable. I think it's the most comfortable furniture uh, that they've that they've used at the at the Dutch Star level. I was very pleasantly uh, surprised. I expected it to be comfortable, but not that comfortable. Um, one of the things you'll notice, there's no ductwork visible in this ceiling. Everything is done behind the wood panels here. Um, it's very, very quiet right now to give you an idea. The generator is running, two air conditioners are running right now, and yet I'll bet you can't hear any of that on the video because it is very, very quiet. With this floor plan, this is the way I like to have it set up. The two chairs, with the table in between, directly across from the televator, your main television. This is a very smooth and quiet system. Be a Sony LED TV popping up there. Um, most of the time, people that buy this, it's two people. It's a nice mom and pop that want to get out and go. Well, this is made for two people. Now, the sofa does fold out to sleep two more comfortably, but you don't have to tell anybody that if you don't want to. We can say it just sleeps two if, if, if you want to go with that story. Um, new for 2016, they went to a JBL speaker system in here. Uh, those are component speakers, so you got a, a woofer and a tweeter, if you will, on four of those um, throughout. And uh, um, it would never translate well to the video, but I will tell you that you crank this up and it made a significant difference in the overall sound quality. So um, that's one of those, you gotta come see me for me to prove it, um, but you'll, you'll like that. The JBL system's very, very, very nice. Um, we optioned in little things with this coach. We have multiplex lighting here. That's actually a standard feature, um, but push button lighting here to where you can walk in the door and light up the whole coach from right here. Um, and right below that, you've got the wine guard power antenna. Um, so that way you don't have the, the old ugly hand crank in the ceiling. Uh, you press a button and the antenna goes up. In the kitchen, cross in front of the camera here. Um, we brought in um, induction cooktop here. Um, these are wonderful. I have one of these at home. If you're not familiar with induction cooking, um, call me. We'll talk about it, but I, I think you'll like it. That'll boil water faster than gas or um, electric, either one. So um, it's a pretty good system. New backsplice for 2016. Newmar does all of this in-house. It's really a fascinating uh, uh, portion uh, of their uh, uh, plant when you go in and see them cutting, buffing, polishing all the all the Corian and everything. Um, it's very detailed work and they, they do it all themselves. So it comes out very, very nice. We have the, since we brought in the dishwasher with this one, uh, we do the single bowl stainless sink. So that is huge. It's big enough to get a big pot or pan in and scrub on it if you need to. Um, where when you do the, what we call the 60-40 sink, it's really not big enough. If you got a skillet or something, it's not really big enough to, to get in there like you need to. We have the dishwasher in a drawer. Let's see if we can open that up. Okay. And then we have the drawer above it. One nice part about the cooktop being mounted up on top is it doesn't recess down into um, too deep and you can have a nice drawer, silverware drawer, um, right below the cooktop. Uh, Whirlpool convection microwave. I'll let you get a shot of that. Okay. 
And then little niceties. Of course, these are all solid wood cabinets. There's no wrapped or veneered um, in here. So you have niceties in the cabinetry. They'll use every little spot they can to give you a drawer, a storage spot. Take a look at these. This was one big drawer last year. This year they made it two small ones. So um, easy to get in and out, easy to get whatever's in the back. Okay, Whirlpool residential refrigerator with uh, water and ice on the door. We, we brought in the buffet, the combination uh, buffet dinette here. Um, there's two more folding chairs that go with this as well. I just don't have those out. This pushes in. And then you've got storage drawers on both sides. There's a little hole back there where you can bring up cords if you want to have a printer or something like that down below. You certainly can do that as well. This, ha this coach does have, I don't want to demonstrate it right now because it, it messes with the camera, um, but we brought in the MCD uh, power shades as well so you can hit one button and bring all the blinds up or down every window in here you're gonna have a screen that you can pull down during the day and then the, the what they call the blackout shade which is what I've got down now um, so just depends on what you want but that's all done with a remote control uh, very easy to use and you can do the whole coach at once um, so things happen quickly best pantry uh, um, out of the Dutch star floor plans I think you've got many many drawers in here um, these are adjustable for different heights okay and and again you can get to what's in there so if it's at the back you can still get to it this is a bath and a half floor plan our half bath is right here in the middle we have the vessel sink come back here we have a king sleep number bed We optioned in a nice little feature over here. There's an outlet up there. There's also outlets on the side of the bed, but there's an outlet right there that actually has USB ports on it as well. We all have little toys we charge, cell phones, whatever, cell phones, tablets. Now, one of the great parts about this floor plan is the amount of storage that's in it. We have two wonderful shirt closets here on either side of the TV, six big drawers below. That's nice, and, and that would be equivalent to what a lot of diesel pushers have right there for storage. But then you come back into the rear bathroom and you have the entire back wall as closet as well. And that goes back in there. I'm going to let the camera get in there. We optioned in the shoe shelf into the rear cap there. There's a safe down here in the bottom right corner. So you have a huge closet in the back, two smaller shirt closets, and we didn't waste any of this space with the washer dryer because they made a bigger bathroom back here. They actually put the washer dryer right here and this is a whirlpool these are residential kind of the apartment size residential stackable units and they're not taking up space out of the kitchen like on some floor plans and they're not taking up space out of your rear closet and with all this extra room in the bathroom look what else we did look at this shower it's absolutely gorgeous it's huge it's got the seat in there as well so guys you can sit down to shave your legs all right this is new for 16. We have a crown ceiling back here. That is brand new for 2016. That took some redesign on the roof. Um, still a, a fiberglass roof up here um, also, but, but uh, actually having that crown gives you a little bit more height because you do step up slightly back here. And then one of the last features I want to get into with uh, 2016 changes is the emergency exit door. Now this is not required by code. Um, you have to have an egress window. It has that in the bedroom. The window that's in there under the TV is an egress window. But this is a little easier. Obviously, if you're going out the window, you're either going to have to really climb to get your feet out first, or um, you're, you're going out head first, and it's a little hard to stick the landing there. With the, with the egress door that you have here, Okay. This doesn't have steps or anything, but I think we can all agree it would be a lot easier just to kind of climb over the toilet and hop down on your feet um, in the event of an emergency than actually going head first out a window. Um, most manufacturers do not offer any type of exit door at all, emergency exit door in the back of the coach. There's one particular manufacturer out there that, that has what I guess you'd call it a disposable door. It works once, um, and then you have to go to the factory and pay thousands of dollars to have a new door put on because it was kind of like... An airplane door it, it sheds itself <laughs> so um, we didn't think that was a very good idea so Numar actually made it you can use it as many times as you want um, but it is a wonderful um, emergency exit door 
Folks, there's so many things to talk about. I'm sure I've forgotten some of the 2016 options, but I wanted to show you the biggies, the ones that I thought they, they really knocked it out of the park with. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please, please, please give me a call if you have any questions. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. Thanks for your time.